So we have raw materials in Kenya, we have uranium in Kenya. It's, uranium is part of the, the stuff that we used to make very pharmaceuticals for nuclear medicine. So, it, you know, my future goal is sometimes working in Kenya and hopefully the government will, will initiate that so we stop you not know, having a lot of people going to India for, for cancer or research for cancer treatment. We can do that in Kenya and help our own people in Kenya. Hello, welcome to Faces of Kenya. Our guest today is John Gitao Wairimu, the only Kenyan in America to graduate with a master's in nuclear medicine technology. Take a look at his story. My name is John Gitao Wairimu, uh, also known as Gitz Wairimu. Nuclear medicine is, uh, is, a, is a branch of medicine that deals with uh, uh, diagnosing, uh, diagnosing and treating and, and staging of uh, various diseases or uh, uh, use radiation to find diseases in the body and special cameras called gamma cameras. So we inject patients with all radiation, a little bit of radiation, and then the radiation helps us find where pathologies or diseases are or where you have a problem in the body in all kinds of diseases. I wanted to get into med school. So uh, in the process of time to get into med school it became too expensive for me and I was a foreign student. So you being a foreign student, the tuition is double the price of, of, of paying in the US. So uh, in the long line, I decided to do public health first and then and, you know, to find out what else can I do. So, uh, but back in the years, I had a physics background and a biology background and a sciences background. So uh, when I was talking to my advisors, okay, uh, you know, you could, you, since you didn't get to med school, you can do this thing called nuclear medicine. It involves physics, biology, and chemistry, and I had a huge amount of background in those. So now, uh, and I've, went through it and researched about it. I really wanted to help people make somebody's life better in life. And that was something that was giving me that op opportunity. So I just rolled with it. Were you amazed by the amount of, you know, the amount of attention you were getting? Yeah, it actually caught me off guard. Uh, actually, I found out a day later that I was uh, trending online. A friend of mine called me, hey, uh, you were all over the news. I was like, oh, for what? Oh, about your degree. I was like, oh, really? So then some people kept sending me links and all that. So, because my school, I think my school broke the story. They were trying to say they were, you know, trying to advertise the program in the first program. And then uh, someone else uh, in the diaspora picked it up and then it's all over spread Kenya and people started calling me. That's why I kept saying, oh, it's trending. And that's how I found out. I was, I was amazed. I didn't expect all this. So I didn't know how to take it or handle it. So my mom is a single mom, but she's not, she wasn't, you know, real poor. She wasn't that well off to really give me the kind of life I, you know, an average kid would have wanted. But she gave me so much love. And, and I had my mom and my sister and my auntie. They gave me so much love and support that I really didn't feel like I missed something in life. But, you know, when I look at things, I, you know, I didn't grow up like a normal kid. I didn't have everything that a normal kid had. But because of the love they gave me, the support they gave me, it kind of uh, blinded off all those other things. So I really didn't realize like I missed anything in life. I just grew up like a normal kid. After I graduated, uh, yeah, I couldn't get a job right away because in the US, once you do these healthcare kind of programs, you have to, after the graduation, you have to do the, the board, it's called the board's exams. It's actually the state, you know, the, you know, the government has to test you so that you, are, you can go out there and buy degrees and all that. So we have to do the both, we call the both exam. So be certified to get certificate to, to practice and, and to do, uh, to work in the hospital. So I had to give myself like three months to study and this, you know, this test you everything you have learned for all those years. So I have to take like three months so before I sit for the board's exam, before I get certified. So I mean, I actually did it two months. So I already got my license now, I got certified and I got a job offer. Uh, Speaking of job offers, how many of them have come your way? Uh, I've had several job offers. I had one in the federal government. Um, like in a, I didn't like the location, so I didn't take it. So uh, right now I um, have a job offer in Atlanta. So I'll be working at Wellstar Hospital. So if someone wants to venture in some kind of course, just dig deep research. See, is this something you really want to do? Do you want, do you want so nuclear medicine is just helping out people. Are you a people person? Are you, are you, uh, you know, are you, you have a heart to, to care about people. And also do research and then put your heart to it and determination and keep pushing. And keep pushing and, and, and you know, have that courage to, to talk to people that are well, know, you know, that are well known that they know those kind of career you're trying to pursue. 
So talking to people, doing research, and 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 doing in America we call it shadowing. Uh, uh, it's I think some form of internship, but it's not like real internship. You shadow, you you visit those facilities several times, so you can see how things are are, uh, are done and get a you know get a, an exposure. You see whether it's really something you really want to do in life. My biggest inspiration is 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 my mother and my auntie. Um, her, her name is Betty. My my mother and my auntie they the only people that really have never lost hope in me. It took me a long time to, to graduate from school. I stayed there 13 years. Um, but at one time I dropped out of school. Things became too tough. I dropped out probably out of school for three to four years. And uh, they never lost hope in me. I told them oh, these things are getting tough. They are getting tough. Uh, I can't continue with school. But they really kept praying for me, encouraging me. And I, I promised them at one time I will finish my school because that's, that's what I went for in the US and eventually I finished so they never lost hope in me they kept you know pushing me telling me it's gonna be okay it's gonna be sour and I think they're very, my very very best inspirations we have raw materials in Kenya we have uranium in Kenya it's, uranium is part of the, the stuff that we used to make very pharmaceutical for nuclear medicine so it, you know my future goal is sometimes working in Kenya and hopefully the government will will initiate that so we stop you not know, having a lot of people going to India for, for cancer or research for cancer treatment. We can do that in Kenya and help our own people in Kenya.